Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday. That means we need to take a look at some cards that we could possibly um, flip and trade with going into this week's edition of Thursday flipping, weekend league rewards flipping, Thursday trading, whatever you want to call it. Basically buying before weekend league rewards and selling after like we do every week as people get their rewards from rivals and from foot champions. And uh, they buy teams and put together teams based on those red picks that they get from Team of the Week and just having more coins in general to build a squad for the weekend league. So this week we have a few things that uh, kind of are in question still. Uh, we don't know if we're getting a promo this Friday or this weekend or not. So obviously the possible event of a loading screen is there. We could get that. Um, and that's one thing that we always have to be wary of. I've already started putting my coins into a few things early just because I've seen them low um, and some man of the match stuff um, and just some stuff as well that is related to possible team of the week investments. Uh, we'll look at a couple predictions here in a second. Um, but by this time, you guys are probably aware of what the team of the week is. So you can kind of look at those cards and maybe see if there are investments to some link investments to any of those cards that will be red picks this week. Um, that's our first order of business today. Now, this is a Team of the Week prediction by the new Footbin uh, Team of the Week predictor. G is a legend himself. He's, uh, this is his handle down here on Twitter. He's an awesome guy. Go check him out. Um, but this is his prediction for Team of the Week. Uh, as you saw, the headliner Pepe will, should be getting an upgrade. They had a, he had a one goal and two assist outing against PSG, and they won 5-1, to one, uh, which is a big-time game. Uh, Coman, Lucas, De Bruyne, Koulibaly, those guys interest me as link investments. Um, those are the, kind of the guys that a lot of people would be getting this week in like a team of the week pack. Um, maybe not De Bruyne or Koulibaly, only a few people would get those. But a Coman and a Lucas, those guys would be very popular. Um, so I think there could be some good investments uh, to some of those cards. Coman being a left mid in the Bundesliga um, with a possible uh, player of the month Lewandowski coming out or a player of the month James Rodriguez coming out this week. Um, there should be some Bayern links. So if maybe a, a Goretzka inform would be somewhere to look for that. Um, maybe some um, others like a left back Alaba or a Boateng UCL rare card. You know, they don't have a ton of special cards. Um, but uh, those are kind of a Lucas would be one that I would really look to invest in. You know, he's Premier League striker, so maybe you have a Brazilian left wing like a Williams in form could go up some. Uh, but I would more think of like um, maybe a Sun in form or an Ericsson in form would be a, a better link investment for a Lucas uh, or something like that. So, speaking of Ericsson, let's go check his cards out because a lot of people are going to get that Lucas card. Um, even though so many people already have the player of the month Lucas, this is a position change uh, and that. Uh, that always means something. So Ericsson looks like he's a little bit high right now at 212. Looks like he's been chilling at uh, 201 normally. Let's look at the UCL rare version of this card. 97k. We're going to go uh, take a look at that because that is pretty low. We did get some UCL supply today. So it makes sense that his card might be a little bit low. Um, but if I could control the menus and see, <laughs> control this game. But that looks pretty low. Uh, under 100k for Christian Eriksen, that's pretty cheap. If this is there, we're gonna. Goodness gracious! What's going on here? Are these all fresh that he's getting packed? Christian Eriksen, a striker position change as well. Am I going crazy right now looking at this? I'm not crazy, right? Let's look at this graph. He has not been under 100k at all at any point in this year. This card has not dipped under 100k, and uh, just now. He's under 100,000 coins, even all day yesterday. Look at this. Oh, yeah. 96K at one point when the SBC came out. So that was a good buy right there, all three of those cards uh, for under 100,000 coins. That was a pretty good buy. So we'll take all three of those as Thursday flips. Hopefully I can get like 115 to 116 for him. Uh, are there any others on open bid? Boom, nine minutes. Let's go. I know there's some new Premier League uh, center attacking mids that we kind of have to work around with the um, the new De La Fleu card that was a man of the match, uh, but I feel like that's a pretty good deal, especially being uh, Spurs. They have some hype this week. They play Champions League today, so that was a cool little buy right there. I'm glad that we looked at Christian Eriksen. So again, looking at this team of the week, um, you kind of want to buy link investments to Lucas, maybe to a Dwight Gale if you can find some English players. 
Um, but then also maybe take a look at some positions where um, there could be some sell-off for substitute goods. Uh, maybe Ericsson's go a bit lower because of the new Kevin De Bruyne. So maybe you look at the higher rated Ericsson cards, uh, maybe his team in the group stage, um, or his higher rated informs, those could dip. Maybe you, for Coman, uh, let's take a look at Ribery. Because if Coman gets that 86 rated inform, some people that are using this Ribery card might go use that one. So if you see this card drop at all in a panic sell um, on Wednesday when the team of the week is released, this could be a good uh, a good buy for a Thursday flip. Yes, that new card would be coming onto the game, but this card is so rare. These Carnivals are just so rare um, that uh, they can be there are good buys at any time when they get panic sold. Um, so again, this is kind of the same things, the same process that we have every week when we look for. Um, link investments to the team of the week or Thursday flips. We kind of look to those link investments first, but we also just look at special cards uh, that are low. And there's some of the UCL rare cards might be good investments this week. Like I just bought that Ericsson, but some guys that they don't have informs and they're still very meta and valued players like a Courtois or a Neuer. Wow, 154. I feel like I need to buy this. Is this pretty low for Courtois? Let's take a look at this. 179, yeah, we're gonna buy that. We are going to buy that. We went and we bought Mr. Courtois, 154. That was a pretty solid price. See, this is the stuff that you guys can do. We'll compare the price just to see if there's any on bid. I could flip that right now for profit if I want to. I'm gonna send it to the club and, and make that a Thursday flip. But that's basically what you can do with a lot of these UCL rare cards. They got some supply this week. Pick out the cards that are still rare, that are still uh, the best version of their card. They don't have any informs that this UCL rare card is the best version. Um, and you can possibly um, make some money on those as people buy them back. They're still a rare card. They're still an out-of-packs card, uh, based, but even though they we did get some, uh, some supply this week. So again, basically every week when you're going through these Team of the Week flipping um, scenarios or a Thursday flipping scenario, again, the best thing to do is scroll through the past team of the weeks on Wednesday on Wednesday tonight today when you're watching this video and look at prices. So I'm looking at last week's team of the week and this price right here jumps out to me at first. The 87 Pulson card under 100k. He didn't really rise out of packs, um, which is interesting to me. But this is this is his third week out of packs. You know, in the team of the week prediction, there's not a ton of Bundesliga guys. Yes, you have the Coman. Uh, but that's kind of a weak link investment. Other than that, I don't see other Bundesliga guys in the team of the week prediction. Um, but uh, maybe by one, this could be a decent look because that is kind of low. But, you know, that's not a hugely meta card. As I continue to look through this, oh, okay. Robertson at 248. He's dropped out, out of packs. He was 260 last weekend. Not a big drop, though, that I really want to look at and look into. And basically just, again, continue to scroll through these team of the weeks, look at the special teams, look at the foot birthdays, look at the carnival cards, and you can really get a grasp and possibly find some deals um, on the rare cards. And again, it's not that hard. It really is not that hard. If you're buying a meta card, if you're buying even gold cards like Conte, like Pogba, like Walker, like Sandro, uh, some of the rare, higher rated, very in-demand meta cards, David De Gea, for example, uh, a lot of those cards just go up. They just kind of go up on Thursdays after rewards. And the best return on your investment, you know, those gold cards do go up, but your best return is often on these informs and these special cards in game just because they're more rare. And especially we look for the link investments to Team of the Week because people like to link up some of these cards. Now, the Richarlison is an uh, interesting thought for me. It's a fairly new inform, so he has the hype uh, of being a new inform. And he would get a strong link to that new Lucas card, and he's a very affordable option uh, for a Premier League right mid, and he plays very well in games. So he's 99,000 coins right now. This would be a card that if I see him hit 90K, if I could get him for 90K uh, tonight, this would be a very good Thursday flip in my opinion because this last weekend you can see he went up over 100,000 coins and I remember seeing this card at about 115 at one point on Friday. Um, so that would be a good buy uh, right there. Again, as a link investment to this week's 
team of the week. And again, just scroll through those team of the weeks, look for cheap prices, look at graphs, and you'll find stuff that's deals. Uh, every Wednesday night, there is stuff to buy. Um, and whether or not it's really uh, a good deal is something that you kind of have to sift through and kind of use your knowledge of the market and say, hey, all right, is this a meta card? Um, is there a new card that people are going to be linking it to? That's why I'm looking at this Hamshik because he links to the new um, Kula Bali card. And we had a Florenzi uh, Champions League card that's in the SBC right now. You can make a little triangle. You get a green link to Hamshik through Kula Bali, and you could get a soft link to put um, Florenzi at right back. So that's a possibility for some people building, building teams this weekend. Um, and then basically, I was looking at some of the Sun cards for a link to Lucas, but. You know, this sun is 340,000 coins, and that Lucas card coming into the game is going to be somewhere around, I'm guessing, 70, 80,000 coins. Um, you know, those types of cards don't really go together. You want to be investing in cards for a link investment of similar value. Um, but in terms of the upcoming content promo, whatever we could see this weekend, um, I think this is one of those weeks where. Uh, we could, there's always some hype for a loading screen. And then I'm always one to play it on the, the cautious side. We haven't had a promo in a couple weeks. We could have team in the knockout stage. Um, and there's a lot of stuff kind of questioning, will we get that promo or not? I don't know. The safe way to play this is always sell your flips before Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. Now you might miss out on some of the biggest rise on the market uh, because a lot of the stuff, if there is no promo, a lot of stuff actually hits its highest point on Friday, but uh, you obviously don't want to wait that long and wait too long. Um, and then a loading screen comes out, panic comes, uh, and you lose coins. Because if we get a team of the season loading screen this week, uh, in this the next couple of days, you're going to see some major panic on the market because that is kind of right now... Um, I want to take a look at the index 100 actually on Footbin. That's kind of right now, if you look at the market as a whole, um, we're actually going to look at the market auctions uh, and talk about that. So this is the number of auctions that have been on the transfer market, um, a daily average each day on Xbox um, over the past month or so. So you see beginning of March, we're up here and it's kind of just slowly trickled down. And that's just, you know, prices have done that as well in the past couple of weeks. People are just kind of ready and they know the team of the season is coming and they want to kind of prepare for it. You see, we haven't had a promo since March 22nd, Foot Birthday went live. So the end of March, we haven't had a promo at all so far in April. And it almost seems like team of the season hype building type content could be coming soon. EA has been dragging all the coins off of this game that they possibly could with all these new live SBCs for Champions League, the uh, the UCL premium upgrade, the UCL upgrade, flashbacks, marquee matchups, um, the Florenzi card, um, even our first ever MLS player of the month, and of course, all the big time icon SBCs that we got. Those are all big coin sucks to so take coins off the market to make people feel like they need to open packs for team of the season. Um, so if we see a promo screen this weekend, if it is team of the season related, you're gonna see some panic and you're gonna see an initial surge of sell-off um, on Thursday, maybe into the weekend league a little bit, and that will make flipping a lot harder. But if it's a loading screen for like team of the knockout stage and they just say that it's coming, I don't think you're gonna see as much panic. We have seen that over the past, you know, if we look back at this graph, in a couple of these promos, I remember for Carnival and for Foot Birthday, we knew that it was coming, and Thursday flips actually still worked because people realized they were so used to getting a new promo screen that they just still bought cards on Thursday. The market still went up on Thursday, um, and that was crazy to think about because you'd think that people would panic about the new upcoming promo, but a lot of times the market still rose, and that's why I'm fairly confident that this week even if you buy cards, you don't buy as many, and you get out by Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, you're playing it safe, you're getting some profit, making some coins, um, and you're still not going to put yourself at risk for losing a lot if we do get a promo screen um, on Thursday. So that's kind of my outlook on the situation. I will probably be trying to get a lot of my stuff out um, before Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, but it all, de all depends on how much um, I end up buying. Now these Ericsson's under 100k is very interesting to me since he was like 110 to 115 to 120. 
uh, per the graph. So I'm going to watch that, see if we get any undercuts, and probably buy that one and, and the other ones that come up since I missed this one on bid. But um, yeah, this week of Thursday flipping, it's a normal week. I think you can be a little bit cautious, but I really want to hit 20 million coins liquid before a team of the season. So that is my personal goal. Um, I was at 18 and a half, a little over 18 and a half million coins just about um, a week earlier this week when I was fully liquid and uh, I want to get up to 20. So before team the season just to have some more coins. So that's going to kind of push me to um, invest a little bit more this week and try to make some more coins off of that. Um, but that doesn't mean you guys should be risky or you guys should be cautious. Uh, just kind of go at it with how you feel is best. Whatever you feel like is going to happen, whatever you feel more, most comfortable with. If you want to play it safe, by all means, do that. Uh, but we'll just have to see what comes this week. It should be a, a decent time to do Thursday flipping um, in certain areas of the market. Obviously, stick to those special cards. Stick to those team of the weeks. Stick to those promo cards uh, that are rarer on the market just because it takes less buyers for those, less demand for their price uh, to go up. So again, if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And if you have any questions about what could be a good Thursday flip for this week, ask them down below. I'll be active down there in the comments. And of course, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.